Hi guys, Sherry here from the Flex Even Career. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for August the 7th until the 14th. So I'm using the John Holland um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. So I'm going to pull the cards first so I can get rid of the deck. Um, I'll do a split Divine Partnership. So how the Masculine views the connection what he's resisting, message from his higher self, past position. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, past, present, future, message from the universe, um, his external environment, and what he fears. And the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I'm also using my cards for clarifiers. So I've been doing a little bit of work on them, so they are a bit sticky. Oops. Okay. So, beginning with how the masculine views this connection. Let me just move the cards over a little bit. Okay. The Three of Wands take the lead. So, he sees this connection. Uh... Basically, the Two of Wands represents making a decision in the past to go, you know, on this spiritual quest, this spiritual journey. So, um, this is you seeing some rewards and payoffs as a result of this. So, what I'm feeling with this card is not necessarily that, but for you to take the lead, that you are going, you're coming into this, this power, this transformative phase in your life where you are taking control. Uh, in the Twin Flame reading, uh, the chariot um, was uh, you know, an important card in terms of you taking control of your life and moving forward. And it looks like you're moving towards this 11-11 connection. Okay, the Hermit. The Two of Wands. And the Nine of Cups. Very nice. So, past position, hermit. Uh, so, this is you retreating, finding solitude, um, disconnecting from the material world. Uh, and it's a spiritual journey. <clears throat> so, uh, you found your light within. Uh, and so, because it's in the past position, there's a sense that you've made some decisions and you're coming out of this hermit state. The Two of Pentacles um, is changes uh, occurring in your environment, in your 3D reality, and so you feel a little unsteady. So bend with the wind, allow that tra transformation to happen. Uh, the future position is the Nine of Cups, so this is wish fulfilled. Um, so this is, you know, feeling satisfied in life, you're happy. Uh, there's an abundance of love. You feel like you've arrived. You know, you feel satisfied with everything. So, it's a movement from solitude uh, in a spiritual quest, uh, making decisions and allowing that to transform your life. Because in the future, you're, you're it's a movement towards love. There's abundance of love coming towards you. So, reach out, take the lead. And, you know, if it um, could mean communication or just making decisions and taking the lead in the in the union, or um, you know, taking the lead in that you're transforming your life in order to allow this connection to come forward. Okay, so what are you resisting? Nine, uh, the hermit again. So this is seek. So you're resisting. Um, the solitude, huh? It's the same card here that's in the past position. 
So let's pull some clarifiers. Two of wands, or sorry, two of cups. The Queen of Swords and Page of Pentacles. Past position, two of cups is spiritual union. So you've met your twin flame. Your heart chakra has been opened. Um, there's a recognition of this connection in the 5D. So while you're in this solitude, in this rested state, you were, you know, concentrating or meditating on this connection and realizing how it is awakening you. So the Queen of Swords uh, could represent an air sign, um, and it's in your resisting position. So maybe you're resisting, you know, communicating your truth to somebody. Uh, so this is mental clarity, cutting away barriers. Um, but ultimately it is communicating and seeing through bullshit. So there's something you're resisting. Maybe it's you're resisting coming out of this hermit state, perhaps. Future position is the page of pentacles. So this is this could represent communicating uh, in the 3D. Um, or it represents planning for a long-term goal. So it could mean... Um, you know, you're, you're gathering resources and, and information, making decisions. Uh, so it could even mean like a new job or going back to school, something like that. So there is work uh, related to this connection in the future to manifest it. However, you are in, you're still in this hermit state and you're resisting coming out, you're resisting communicating. Okay, so a message from your higher self, seven of wands, choose your battles. So this is knowing your core values and beliefs and expressing them. So it's a defensive pose, you know, it's finding your strength in order to take on these three people, not uh, bend to their will. Sacral chakra, base chakra. And the Eight of Cups. So past posi position is the Sacral Chakra. So this is where your emotions are stored. So your desire, your passion, uh, you know, things that make you happy, sad, that kind of thing. So this was activated. The Chakra was activated. So, you know, because the, the Nine of Cups is coming in your future position and the Chariot, those are both cards about doing what you love, doing what makes you happy. So I feel, you know, you came alive, you, you felt excited about a connection that opened you up. Um, the base chakra is one chakra less than that. So these are lower chakras. So this has to do with safety, security, um, groundedness. So you, you are trying to feel a sense of you know, um, like a foundation, grounded safety, um, in order to find your strength to deal with a situation that requires you to, you know, exert yourself, exert your will. Um, and ultimately, you will do that. The Eight of Cups is moving on. So, in the Twin Flame connection, there was an energy of the masculine moving away from a negative situation, um, a lot of movement forward. And so, we can see that here, that in your future, is a movement forward. It's away from something that is emotionally draining and the sacral chakra is in the past. So this, you know, movement away from, it could be from negative emotions, you know, lower energy, lower vibration that doesn't make you feel safe, that doesn't make you feel emotionally satisfied. So you, your higher self is telling you to find your power and face whatever it is that is robbing you of your strength. <laughs> okay, past position. Wow, the emperor, lead. Um, so take the lead, right? You are aware of your strength as the divine masculine. Um, so this is you being in your power, um, taking the lead, taking control, 
um, taking action, making decisions. Uh, so it is masculine energy exerted, right? So you are strong enough to really move forward with whatever it is that you desire, which is obviously to connect, to reach out with the feminine. Uh, so the High Priest and the Seven of Cups and the Throat Chakra. So past position, High Priest. So again, that goes along with knowing your power, not only in your 3D reality, living your true authentic life, um, but spiritually as well. So the High Priest is has their Crown Chakra open. Um, they are spiritual leaders. Um, they share their wisdom with all uh, so again very powerful masculine energy here so I think this is just spirit reminding you of who you are what you've already been through and again with the hermit is very wise energy uh, so the seven of cups is having a lot of choices uh, but knowing your destination and not knowing how to get there so there was a you know, turn inward in your present moment in the uh, Twin Flame reading. You got the same card there. So, you know, uh, you're still bringing that energy of not knowing your direction into your present moment. So what I feel here is you know your strength. You are awake. You are aware. You are empowered. Um, and just take the lead. Take control. Make decisions. Um, throat chakra, future position, so this could be an energy in the future or something that has happened in the past and being brought into the present moment. Uh, so this is communication. Um, you know, it's almost like making a decision and then communicating your truth. Uh, or, you know, communication came in, but basically you need to communicate, discuss your desires um, with whomever, you know, like with your feminine or with your family or whatever is required of you. It's like you need to open up and express yourself. A lot of chakras being activated with you. So your present moment, <laughs> throat chakra. So confirmation that communication is important right now. Take the lead, reach out, communicate your truth, right? So repeated energy. Um, find that strength, courage to do it. So you want to communicate. Wow, Divine Masculine again. Very cool synchronicity with, with the throat chakra. <laughs> very cool. So double whammy there, right? Um, communication in the future, bam. Your empowerment in the past, bam, synchronicity. Okay, Eight of Swords and the uh, King of Pentacles. Interesting. So the Emperor past position, again, knowing your power, knowing your strength, um, living your true authentic life, taking control, taking action, making decisions. You want to communicate your, tr your truth, but you feel imprisoned. You feel locked in this self-imposed prison of the mind. So you're believing thoughts. It's an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So there's somebody telling you you can't move, that you can't feel that freedom. Uh, you can't reach out. You, you aren't strong enough, right? So, uh, you know, Spirit is asking you to release those negative thoughts, that, that negative self-talk. Uh, and and speak your truth uh, Okay, so in the future position is the king of Pentacles So this is the 3d king. This is someone who is Independent who is financially wealthy not necessarily but feels grounded feels successful um, Has abundance coming into your life uh, So you do feel independent, you know this this card is one who looks after other people. They, um, you know, they are the provider. Uh, they share their their wealth with others. This also represents harvest, 
and it also represents the Divine Masculine in the 3D, the one that you can hold and feel. So there's, you desire to manifest a change into your reality. Uh, that change is occurring, but it requires a little bit more work and effort on your part, and it requires communication, speaking your truth. When you do that, then you will feel safe enough to move on from such some type of negative emotional situation um, and manifest whatever you desire that this you know this true authentic life into your reality. But again, communication is required. Don't hide in fear. All right, your future position, release the death card. Uh, so this card came in your past position, so again, it's energy, this transformation is occurring in your life, and you will release, uh, you know, you will release yourself from that prison, is what I'm seeing here. So it is rebirth, it is, you know, the butterfly rising from the chrysalis, so it's death of the ego, death of your fears, death of your old identity, it is cutting away what you no longer need in your life allowing that to fall away like a loose garment so again rebirth in your future this is also pilgrimage um, a journey to self stay sun card three of cups and the four of cups so past position, sun card. This is the most positive card in the deck. Uh, it represents all, <clears throat> sorry, all the positive emotions. It's a new beginning. Um, it's a return to innocence. It's freedom. Wow. So either something happens where you discover your power, because this is, you know, pure masculine energy, the sun, um, or you. It's coming in the past position, so it fits nicely with this divine masculine empowerment. So it's like a realization. You realize how strong you are, which allows that transformation to really occur in your future. And it's because of love. All right. So the Three of Cups is a reunion or union energy, actually. So this is um, an uh, ignition of love. So this is, you know, the heart chakra being opened up uh, when two people come together and fall in love. They create that third energy, which is love. And that's what connects you to source. That's what, you know, um, is a motor that drives this connection. So it's a celebration of love as well. So there is um, a new beginning that has started in the past. And it's like, one moment. Sorry about that. So it is... Um, it's like celebrating that new beginning. There's so much positive energy here in your future, which drives this transformation. So future is the Four of Cups. So the feminine got this in the past position. So this is a disconnect. It's, it's feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. There's stagnation. Um, so you may come up against this energy. It's like, you know, I've been sitting here waiting, <laughs> you know, for you to you know to come to me to transform to open up and it's almost like you know do I want this you know so be warned that this is an energy you may come up across against uh, so feminines be careful of that that I think is the devil that's coming in the future something left beneath the surface not dealt with will come full circle so I'm going to pull one card from the Osho Zen What do you mean by the Four of Cups? And it could also mean that, whoa, you are required to turn your back on a situation. So fighting the uh, Knight of Swords. So this is movement forward. Usually he's represented as a champion. Um, however, the Osho has a much different description. So I'm just going to move this up here for a moment. Okay, so... The figure in this card is completely covered in armor. Only his glare of rage is visible. 
and the whites of his knuckles on his clenched fists. If you look closely at the armor, you can see it's covered with buttons ready to detonate if anybody so much as brushes up against them. In the background, we see the shadow, shadowy movie of the, the sorry, shadowy movie that plays in the man's mind. Two figures fighting for a castle. An explosive temper or a smoldering rage often masks a deep feeling of pain. We think that if we frighten people away, we can avoid being hurt even more. In fact, just the opposite is the case. So, you know, the mouse got the Five of Cups in as a final outcome. And this is guarding your heart, being protective of your heart. And what I felt was you opening up, you know, putting down the armor and trusting in the feminine, trusting in what you feel inside of you as true love. So that's really what I'm feeling here. It's a remembering how this connection makes you happy and excited to be alive. It returns you to this innocent state and you feel love moving through you, transforming you. So you allow that, that connection. But this card is coming with the Four of Cups, right? So, um, you know, the Four of Cups is someone who disconnects or, you know, there's no movement. So what I'm feeling here is you opening up. But again, this could be the feminine's energy as well, right? Feeling um, a bit guarded, um, a little bit bitter. Um, anyway. So, by covering our wounds with armor, we are pretending, or sorry, we are preventing them from being healed. By lashing out at others, we keep ourselves from getting the love and nourishment we need. <clears throat> sorry, it's really dry. If this description seems to fit you, it's time to stop fighting. There's so much love available to you if you just let it in. Start by forgiving yourself. You're worth it. So, yeah, I, I feel like that armor coming off, you, you know, opening up, taking the lead, reaching out, finding your strength, your courage, your power. I'm just going to grab a quick drink here. Okay. So, um... What is the message from the universe? Seriously? Wow, heart chakra, another chakra. That's four so far. So, the universe is telling you to open up your heart. Straight up. Open your heart. Um, allow that love to transform your life. The tower, another synchronicity. The Ten of Pentacles, wow, and the Three of Swords. So, past position, Tower, this showed up in the Twin Flame reading, in your past position, so the Tower came in. A sudden disruption, sudden change, it tears down the false reality, so that a new foundation can be built of it. So, this new foundation is built on love. So, the Ten of Pentacles, um, so... Source is showing you this future, this long-term goal in the 3D reality. The one you're being asked to manifest, to work towards. So this is, you know, the um, your final resting place. It's a 3D manifestation um, of this happy life, you know, having abundance coming in uh, and being surrounded by your friends and family, not having to worry about money anymore you know you're just living through your heart so that transformation occurred now in the future position is the three of swords so this kind of goes along with the five of cups in your future position and that guarded heart having your heart broken in the past and not allowing that to stop you right the main card is the heart chakra open up and don't let the past rule the future <coughs> sorry okay so external environment is spread your wings the two wands 
Um, so this energy is coming from the outside and you're sensing it. So this could very well be the feminine, um, you know, op with her arms wide open waiting to embrace you. Because remember, she had uh, the two of wands. I believe it was in her present position, or was it the past? Yeah, maybe it was the past or present. I can, oh my God, I can't believe I forgot it already. But anyways, there's a sense that she's there waiting, you know, the door is open. Um, and the, uh, the Empress was in the past position as well, and I mentioned, you know, that her arms were open and waiting to embrace you. So that, that's really what I'm feeling with this card. Uh, so this is embarking on a spiritual journey. So you've made a decision to, to embark on this journey. And there's a sense that that door is open, that your mind is expanded. Wow, it's because of the 1111 connection and the Divine Feminine, Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay, so 1111 in your past position, so she is your twin flame. Okay, especially with the Divine Feminine present position. So you definitely understand this connection um, and how it empowers you. You see your true authentic self through her. You see her true authentic self. You see this connection, uh, this soul connection. Future position is the Ace of Swords. So this is communication. Um, but it's speaking your truth, it is making a decision, and it's successful as well. So um, there's a sense that you are you want to reach out and communicate with the feminine, speak your truth, and, uh, but, and the door is open. Okay, so what do you fear? The Eight of Pentacles, dedicated effort. So the Eight of Pentacles, uh, you're bringing in bringing that into the union, it's positive movement forward. It is, you know, it depicted a man in a boat moving towards the sun. So you are afraid possibly to move forward, to invest, to take action. Uh, so this is a manifestation card. It's having abundance, feeling achieved. So why do you fear that? King of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles again, and the Five of Pentacles. So King of Swords is in your past position, so you have the King and Queen of Swords here. Uh, so this could represent an air sign, uh, but really it's the masculine um, speaking his truth, making a decision. It kind of goes along with this take the lead, be the leader kind of energy. Uh, the King of Air takes action. He makes plans. He... Uh, cuts away barriers. He is very authoritative. So this is mental clarity and it's also emotional detachment. So you you had mental clarity about, you know, possibly work, a new job. Um, maybe you're worried about, you know, um, being able to provide because the Eight of Pentacles is showing up twice. So it's in your present position and the main energy card. So this is in, in the forefront. You are worried about investing or losing. And I think it's losing because in the future position is the Five of Pentacles. So this is uh, a fina financial loss. Um, it is also detachment. So you, you know, are metaphorically shooting yourself in the foot in order to release yourself from something. So... A decision is going to be made um, either by the feminine or by you but there's a there's a sense of being closed off fearing a broken heart fearing loss um, but you know these are all matters of the mind and it is 3d attachment so you know, these three pentacles are, are 3D manifestation. It is, um, you know, if you place too much importance on your possessions or the 3D reality, you will feel chained to it, right? It, these are false ego, false identity, and that's what you need to release yourself from. You know, the ego, put it to death, put, 
release it. Um, there's nothing that the feminine wants from you. She just wants you. That's all. You know, if they have nothing, um, you know, as a result of this connection, they will have their love. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, together you will make it work because it's based on true love. So, um, what I see here is that there will be a release of some kind for sure in the future. So you, the masculine has made that decision or has mental clarity about it, but he fears actually following through with that decision. And I feel that the decision will be made ultimately. The King of Swords holds that Ace of Swords in his hand at, and makes that decision. So going back to the Queen here, this could be a karmic relationship that is standing in between you and the twin flame <clears throat> or it could be you know you need to speak your truth to the feminine to the divine feminine uh yeah because that's a pretty heavy energy here in the reading for sure okay so the overall energy wow magician manifest um so know you are powerful know um Know that you have all the tools available to you to manifest whatever your dreams desire is, right? You, you are connected to source. You are pulling information, ideas, creative ideas from source, and you can manifest that into, re, into the 3D. So, yeah, number one is a new beginning. So this comes after the full card. So manifest, empowerment, strength, right? So... I'm really feeling that reaching out, take the lead, find you know, know your know your true power. Okay, so I'm gonna pull one card from Call It Baron Reed. So this is Wisdom of the Oracle. So this will be the message from the universe. Chaos and conflict. So, number 33. Okay, so, the meaning. Disarray, being at a cross purpose with another, the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. So, the message, opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere. But consider the value of chaos that serves you, you well. As you become unmoored by it, scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, uh, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at a cross purpose with somebody else facing a storm you will feel you can't control yet every storm passes and the chaos leads to reordering of things conflict provides a way to see more than <clears throat> sorry than one side of a situation uh, look upon the situ look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray don't be too eager to fight. This is time to understand rather than to be understood. Right. So that goes along with, you know, fighting. Don't fight. Um, the, there is this transformation in your future. So it's like, you know, it, it's all perspective. You can be empowered and allow that transformation to occur. Or you can kind of coward in fear and stay where you're at. But really, this card is asking you to to face that conflict and allow it to transform. Um, you know, it will bring you to the place that you've always wanted to be. All right, so I hope this helps. Much love.